Following Iran's delivery of drones to Russia for use in Ukraine, particularly the Shahid series and the Mahaja 6, the nation may now provide Russia with more destructive weaponry, this is according to US and partner security sources. According to the report, Iran sent officials to Russia to negotiate terms for more arms shipments, which included two types of surface-to-surface -surface missiles. During the first few weeks of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, it seemed impossible that Russia would ask Iran for weapons. But in recent months, Iran's role is expanded and has emerged as a significant military supplier to Moscow. According to an intelligence assessment, shared recently with Ukrainian and US officials, Iran's armaments industry is preparing a first shipment of Fatah 110 and Zolfaha missiles. This two well-known Iranian short-range ballistic missiles, capable of striking targets at distances of 300 and 700 kilometers, respectively. According to experts, the newest versions of the Fatah 110 and Zolfaha are both powerful and fairly accurate at relatively short distances. Some variants are fitted with electro-optical guidance systems, enabling missile operators to steer them during the final approach to the target. The Fatah 110 is a road-mobile, short-range solid-propellant ballistic missile. It is most likely a modified variant of the unguided Zelzal 2 featuring control and guidance systems added. While the program is headquartered in Iran, the missile is thought to include components from Chinese contractors. The US Department of Treasury accused Chinese firm Great Wall Industry and its partners in 2006 of playing a leading role in the development of the Fatah missile system. Since 2017, Iran has launched several Fatah missiles, as well as longer-range variants such as the Zolfaha in military operations. Iran began developing the Fatah 110 in 1995. The missile is 8.86 meters long, 0.61 meters in diameter, and weighs 3,450 kg. It uses a single-stage solid propellant engine and has a range of 210 km or 130 miles, although it is possible that Iran could add extra boosters in order to increase its range to 400 km. It can carry a 500 kg payload and is most likely designed to deliver a high-explosive, chemical or submunitions warhead. It is also thought that the missile is nuclear or WMD capabilities. The missile was used in the Syrian civil war, but its delivery to Russia would be a first. The Zolfaha is a short-range solid-fuel ballistic missile that belongs to the Fatah family. The missile is said to have a 700-kilometer range, and Iran claims it can equip Zolfaha with a submunition warhead. The missile would allow Russia to easily launch devastating missile strikes on Ukrainian civilian infrastructure and troop positions from military bases in Russia and Russian-controlled territory. In June 2017, the missile apparently hit targets in Syria, and on June 18, 2017, Iran reportedly launched six Zolfaha missiles into Syria towards the Deir ez Zor region. Notably, Iranian surface-to-surface -surface missiles often use transporter erector launchers based on commercial truck chassis, making them simple to maintain and operate. Other missiles in the Fatah series, such as the two-stage Shahid Hajj Qasim ballistic missile, which was unveiled in August 2020, reportedly have ranges of around 1400 kilometers, with a warhead weighing 500 kilograms. And Moscow would love to get any and all Iranian weapons platforms they can get. Because these weapons can hit from a long distance, away from the action, making them a must-have for Putin. But, this may put further pressure on the Biden administration to offer longer-range weapons to neutralize their potential influence on the battlefield.